This is going to show you how to get a sum of a string of numbers in Raptor. It's, there's a few quirky things with Raptor that you don't have to deal with with most programming languages that I'm going to illustrate for you that make this a little bit more complicated than it really needs to be. But you should be able to handle it. The idea is that we're going to have the user enter a number or store it in a variable. And since the computer treats uh, strings as arrays, we should be able to just loop through the array and get the sum, just like we did with, a, with an array chapter, or with the file chapter for that matter. But you see, we get an error message when we try to treat this variable like an array. And that is because of data types. In Python and other programming languages, you can dictate whether, at least whether it's a string or a number. But in Raptor, it just figures out what data type to use based on the user input. So if the user enters 1, 2, 3, it's not treated as a string, it's treated as a number. In order for it to be treated as a string, we need to have something other than a number in the input. For instance, if we put the number 1, 2, 3 inside double quotes, which is kind of how a computer thinks of a string anyway, it then is stored as a string and can be accessed like an array. In this example, we would want to not look at position 1 that has the double quotes in it and just start with position 2. So in order for the computer to treat it as a string, we can just tell the user to enter the number in quotes. And this is it's going to end up being a, a pretty different solution than you would implement in a different programming language. So for that reason, it's not super useful, but it still is a good test uh, an exercise for understanding strings and doing some of the other programming structures. So now you see we are able to access that string as an array and the goal of the program really is to sum the numbers. So just doing one little thing at a time, let's see if we can get the sum of what's in the second position and in the third position. That should be one plus two. But it's saying unknown parameter for plus. All right, this is another problem with Raptor, is it's treating those spots now as characters, right? It's an array of characters. That's what a string is. So we're trying to add the character uh, one to the character two, and it doesn't know how to do that. It's not concatenating. It's not adding. So there's kind of a convoluted way around this is we can use a decision, a selection symbol to to look at the character. And it, the way a computer treats a character in many languages is with in single quotes. So I'm going to say, is this number that I'm looking at, which is really being stored as a character, is it equal to the character 1 in single quotes? If so, I want the sum to be set to sum plus 1. And I'm going to do an accumulator. I'm just manually having to figure out which number is the equivalent to the character. Now, there are other ways to do this in Raptor, but this is a pretty straightforward way. And in other programming languages, there's much simpler ways to, to manually cast or convert a character to a number. Um, but there's no easy way in, in Raptor. So you'd have to just make a loop that goes through all of the uh, array to check each spot to see what character it's equal to and add that value to your accumulator. So it'll be a bit tedious, but it's uh, still a useful exercise.